Okay, so we're going to have a look at adding and subtracting thirds. This one's actually quite a short one, makes up for a bit of time for some of the longer ones later on in this series. Uh, but again, get some paper, make some notes. You've not got many questions to have a go at on this, we just want to discuss how we add and subtract thirds. So have a look at this first one. Okay, so we've got the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. And again, I like to link this back to algebra. If we think about something in algebra like 3x add 4y, Okay, hopefully we know that we can't actually add those together, we just leave it as it is. But if we have something like 3x add 4x, they can actually combine and they can make 7x. Okay, and the reason they can add together is because they have this common letter here, the x. Now we're going to take the same approach when it comes to thirds. If we can have the same number here underneath the third, underneath the square root, Okay, then we can actually add them together. Now at the moment it's a 40 and a 90, so they don't add together. But let's have a look. Let's see if we can do anything and simplify this down. Let's get rid of all that. Okay. So, uh, the square root of 40, let's have a look at that to start with. That is the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. And again, remember, just write them down. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. We'll see if we can write enough down to start with. Right, so the square root of 40. Square root of 4 times the square root of 10. Well, that looks like a six. Let's get rid of that. Square root of 10, there we go. So that is two lots of the square root of 10, root four being two, so two root 10. Okay, so if root 90 can also have a root 10, we can add these together. So let's have a look. Root 90 is the square root of nine times the square root of 10. Lovely, so we've got that root 10 going on there. Lovely, the square root of nine is three, so it's three lots of root 10 or three root 10. Perfect, so we've got two lots of root 10 and another three lots of root 10 getting combined together and two plus three is five. So we have five lots of root 10 in total. Perfect, so we can add those together because we had that 10 underneath the square root for both of them. All right, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so slightly different wording here. Write root 27 plus root 48 in the form a root three, where a is an integer. Now I quite like the upper furthest wording because it gives us this little hint here that we're going to get a little root 3. So straight away I can think, well, 3 times something must make 27, that something must be a square number, and it's 3 times 9, or 9 times 3. So root 27 is root 9 times root 3. Root 9 is 3, so it's 3 lots of root 3, or 3 root 3. Same process for 48, I know it divides by 4 though, but it's not 4 times 3, so there must be a bigger square number, and that's why I quite like this root 3 being in the question there, it gives me a little hint there's a bigger one. So, 3 times 16 is 48, so 40, root 48 is root 16 times root 3, root 16 is 4, so it's 4 lots of root 3, which is 4 root 3, and we're adding those together. 3 lots of root 3, add 4 lots of root 3, well 3 plus 4 is 7, so it's seven lots of root three. And there we go, there's that one. Let's have a look at another one. Right, here we go. So square root of 45, add the square root of 125, take away the square root of 20. Right, so we've got three to simplify here. We've got two that we're adding together, and then we're gonna subtract one of them at the end there, okay? So square root of 45, let's write down some square numbers. One, four, nine, 16, 25, I've got quite a big number there, 125, so I'm going to write down a few more. 36, 49, 64. There we go, I'm not going to go any higher than 64 because half of 125, we're around about there with 64. So, in fact, we've gone beyond it with 64. So, square root of 45, that divides by 9. So let's try this out. Root 9 times root 5. And that becomes three lots of root five or just three root five. Okay, so as long as we get, can get some root fives in all the others, we're probably okay here. So the square root of 125, let's have a look at that one next. Okay, root 20, 125. That's 25, using this square root here, 25 times five. So square root of 25 times the square root of five. The square root of 25 is five. So it's five root five for that one. Okay, that matches our root 5. And then root 20. Root 20 divides by 4. So it's the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which is 2 root 5. The square root of 4 is 2. Lovely, so I just need to get all these symbols in there. What do we have? We've got a plus between these ones and a takeaway at the end. So 3 
add five, take away two. Obviously they have they come with that root five, don't they? But three root five, add five root five, gives us eight root five, and then we're gonna take away two root five. So eight root five, take away two root five, leaves us with six root five as our final answer. Again, you're gonna try some questions now. I've only got a few questions for you to try and then we're gonna finish. So just make sure you go back, watch through that again if you're not sure, make sure you've made some notes and then here are four questions for you to have a go at. Okay, so pause the video there and I'll go over these in a sec. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Root three plus root 12. Now root three doesn't simplify, but root 12 does. Root 12 is root four times root three, which is two root three. So we've got root three, add two root three, or we could write one root three, add two root three. So one root three, add two root three, gives us three root three in total. On to the next one, root 20, add root 125. Root 20 is root four times root five, which is two root five. And we're adding to that whatever this root 125 is. That's root 25 times five, root five, which is five root five. And if we add those together, two plus five is seven. So we get seven root five in total. Okay, so now we've got a takeaway. Root 45 is root nine times root five, which is three root five. And we're gonna take away whatever root 20 is. So root 20 is root four times root five, which is two root five. Okay, so we've got three root five, take away two root five, three take away two is one, so we've got one root five left, so not right in the one, just root five. And the final question here, we've got three to simplify. Okay, so root 75. Root 75 is root 25 times root three, which is five root three. Root 27 is root nine times root three, which is three root three. And the last one there, root 48, which we've met before, 16 is the bigger one we need to spot, so it's root 16 times root three, and that is four root three. Okay, so we're adding these, and we're gonna take away four root three, so five plus three is eight, so eight root three, take away four, leaves us with four root three to finish that off. Okay, brilliant, very quickly before we finish, I've got two very quick ones for you to have a look at. Okay, so have a go at these two, and again, I'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, here we go. Nothing any harder here than the last ones, just a few, last few to practice and review what you've done. So the square root of 27 is root nine times root three, which is three root three, and we're adding to that this one root three. And three plus one is four, so four root three as our final answer there. Onto the next one, two root five doesn't simplify, so we've got two root five, and we're adding to that root 20, which is root four times root five, which is two root five. So we've got two root five, add another two root five, and two root five add two root five gives us four root five. Okay, perfect, just a short one today, that's the end. So uh, the next one we're gonna be having a look at multiplying with thirds, moving into expanding brackets. So if you're finding this use useful, please like, please comment, please subscribe to the videos, and I'll see you for the next one.